What's up, Falcon fans? It's your boy. Let us pray. Back with that Falcon talk. Man, two things. Two things. Uh, first of all, hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, second of all, we want to talk about, um, obviously, Dan Quinn. Um, first off, on first take this morning, Stephen A. Smith talked about the Falcons never recovering from the Super Bowl loss in 2016. I don't think it's so much the Falcons never recovering. I think it's more Dan Quinn never recovering. Um, the lack of adjustments, uh, sticking with that same, uh, going with that zone scheme instead of playing man-to-man -man like uh, we should mix in here and there, not necessarily have to go one specific coverage or a scheme for the whole game, but clearly be able to mix it up confuse quarterbacks confuse receivers uh make them mess up get easy interceptions there's none of that going on in atlanta right now i mean the field is open it's sweet in the middle it's sweet in there it's sweet like a crispy cream donut in our defense right now uh quarterbacks are licking their freaking chops hoping to play the falcons this season so, uh, Dan Quinn clearly never recovered from the Super Bowl loss. Also, you had, what is his name, man's name? QQ, QT, or Coty, or whatever his name, Kiki, Coty, or something like that for the Texans. Uh, they interviewed the receiver after the game. He said the Falcons defense is so easy to uh, game plan against. They do the same thing all game. Uh, pretty much they added a, add a few little wrinkles uh, from game to game. And once they figured out what the Falcons were doing, it was sweet, like a Krispy Kreme donut. Uh, man, anytime you got an opposing receiver talking about how easy your uh, defense is to play against, um, that's a glaring indictment on the defensive coordinator who just so happens to be our head coach. So, um... Dan Quinn, man, uh, I know you're trying your best. Uh, I think you're trying your best anyway. I feel like I could get in there and do a better job than what you're doing right now. Uh, I feel like this man I saw standing on the corner uh, with the San Francisco 49ers shirt could do a better job game planning a defense for 60 minutes than you're doing right now, Dan Quinn. Uh, I feel like my high school football coach could do uh, a better job game planning a defense than what you're doing right now, Dan Quinn. Like, come on, bro. What is going on? Like, it's so horrible. It's it's so horrible you want to laugh as a Falcons fan because if you don't laugh, you'll cry. If you don't laugh, you'll cry as a Falcons fan right now. That's how bad it is. So I just laughed when I saw the score. I just laughed. Um, uh, any receiver or any quarterback that's playing the Falcons, I'm picking them up in fantasy football. That's how bad my team is right now. Uh, if I can't have my squad win, I'm definitely going to try to capitalize in fantasy. So, Jay Gruden was just fired. Dan Quinn got the vote of confidence from uh, Arthur Blank saying uh, he's going to let them figure it out, but I guarantee you. Uh, Deion Sanders said it today. He said Dan Quinn won't make it past the bye week. And I think that's a perfect time to uh, switch things up. It'll be halfway through the season. I mean, season's lost anyway at that point. If we don't beat the Cardinals, he definitely got to be fired right after the game. If we beat the Cardinals, but then we lose, we're probably going to lose the next three after that, which are all pretty tough games. Then you still got to let him go after, you know, bye week. It's pretty much going to be a rebuild year, I believe, next few years or so. Got to bring in a coach who can um, excite the players, excite the team, excite the franchise, uh, reinvigorate some hope into this organization, man. Dan Quinn, you're just sucking the life out of us. I mean, the life is getting sucked out of him. Look at it. He just looks like a defeated man. He looks broken right now in every single press conference. He just looks broken. That shiny head. I mean, my head's shiny too, but man, that shiny dome, you can see the sweat beads dropping every time they ask a question about his job security. He just looks so stressed, so frustrated. 
Arthur Blank, you be doing this man a favor by firing him right now. Uh, but anyway, it's your boy, let us pray, man. With that Falcons talk, hope you guys have a blessed and prosperous day. Um, good signs. I mean, Matt Ryan, he scrambled around. He ran for his life yesterday. Um, he looked okay in some uh, respects. Horrible pick six at the end of the game. Um, who looks pretty good out there? Uh, Calvin Ridley finally scored. Uh, got a couple catches. Muhammad Sanu got in there. Um, Hooper got in again. Um, I don't know. Who else scored? We we put up we put up thirty points, over thirty points, and lost by almost twenty. That's how bad our defense is right now. Gave up a fifty burger. So um, nobody on defense gets any recognition. I'm sorry, Grady Jarrett. He, he was busting through the middle, but nobody on defense gets recognition when you give up fifty three. So uh, it's your boy. Let us pray. Uh, we will keep a track on uh, what's going to happen from week to week. You know your boy. We're going to be here with that honest commentary. Take care. Have a blessed Monday. We out. Peace.